Greetings everybody, Savage Matt here with another Savage episode of Savage Matt Does Greg Tech. And we are doing something a little different today. Um, uh, first... Oh, hello. Um, first off, we're not starting at our base. Uh, this is Doomy's base. Uh, Mr. Doomingle. Oh, and you can tell that it's Christmas Eve. Um, so, yeah. You know, I really like what he's done with the place. Uh, you know, I like, uh, his use of blocks and patterns. You know, these are, like, so close to being the same, and then they're not. And that's really cool. Got some Thomcraft up there. I don't need to snoop in chests, but, ooh. And then it transitions down to another thing. I like it. I like it a lot. So. Mm. <laughs> anyway, so that's Doomy's place. I figured that'd be kind of cool to teleport over here and check that out. Um, because today, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna do another talky thing like I did yesterday. Pretty much, guys, I wanna get my, my, um, uh, I need to get my episodes done. And once my episodes are done, I'm swapping this server for, um, you know, I'm doing, bringing up the new server. So we're gonna talk a little bit about the new server today. And then we are also going to head north which is this way back to civilization because doom is kind of in the bottom of everything and uh yeah just head this way flying a bit and we're gonna i got a bunch of wool and a bunch of sticks and we are going to scoop up any beehives that we see on our way back home so ooh, there's one right there Anyway, um, let's see. What's new with me? Oh, and I'm throwing away drones. And comb. I don't need those. I just need princesses. And if I see any cows, I'm gonna kill them and get a, a backpack. Um, that's our plan. I also have a sleeping bag to do this. Mm. So, what is going on? Oh, river. Hmm, well, we'll just do this for a little bit. So, what's going on? I've said that a couple of times. Um, we are 3,000 blocks away from the center of the map. 3,500. So, we're, we're a fair bit away out from the map, which is kind of cool. You know, I love being able to just, like, spread and be in a different place. But, um, that's not, I don't know. I don't, that's not the feel that I think I'm going for in the next map. And so, one of the things that uh, Tinker's Construct will let us do is it'll let us put in a world border. There's a lot of, like, weird things that I'm going to try uh, with the new map. Um, I need to go... I need to go adjust the configs and make sure I can get blaze rods. I think I might make it so that... I need to figure out what you need for blaze rods. Uh, no, what you need blaze rods for. Um, ooh, cows. I know... Um, you need blaze rods to get ender chests, and that'll be a thing that I want. I definitely want ender chests, because I've used them to great effect with all my machinery. Not that we'll have as much machinery, but they'll still be horribly useful. Um, you know, there's a couple, like, I want that coal factory that I ended up, uh, charcoal factory. I want one of those way early in the game. Uh, you know, possibly with a couple of different furnaces prepping for it so that, you know, you end up with um, a lot of charcoal at a moment's notice. Uh, yeah, yeah, and I've got that, I've got that built pretty much in my head. Um, cause charcoal is useful, especially when you can do cool things with it. I don't know, I don't know exactly what cool things we'll be able to do with it, but I do know... That power will be a very, very interesting question. Uh, because forestry and buildcraft do not talk together like they used to. And so that might change how some people, like how a lot of things work. Uh, I'm not sure. We're going to have to find that out. How big of an ocean is this? Oh, we can head over here this way. Um, so, yeah. Um, so, I kind of, I do want to take like a recipe and make it so that you can, uh, glub, 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 uh, I think it'd be really interesting to have a recipe where you can take, 
a stick and drop it in the um, the molecular trans molecular transformer and be able to get blaze rods off of that. Um, I like that option, uh, but I'm not sure a good number, like uh, how much how much EU EU it should take. Ooh, what are these? These are dragon food, aren't they? Give me a dragon fruit. I don't know what you're supposed to pick these with. Dragon fruit? There he goes. Pomegranate. Ooh, pomegranate. Interesting. There's a mountain. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, yeah, I need to adjust the configs and be able to get blaze rods, at least. I need to... There, there will probably be... There will, it'll probably be a work in progress um, as we go. Um, I do really like the idea of the world border. I was really excited when I found out that I could do it for TCON, uh, with TCON for a 1.7, because uh, it's not in the vanilla game until 1.8. Um, what do I need? One more leather? Oh, there's one of them places. I haven't been to one of them for a while. Let's go raid a temple and get a beehive, more importantly. Um... So, one of the things, you know, when I'm thinking about it, that's going to be important is that I am going to be limited on bees. I can't have one of these uh, bee princess gathering uh, adventures, you know, like I'm having right now, where I go out and explore and stuff. Uh, this is unrated. Silver ingots are awesome. Bronze is amazing. Um, Magnes dust. I'll take the steel. Uh, string. Meh. Um, what's the spawn underneath? There's like a car alarm or something going off. Wisps. Oh, okay. Well, I'll take the obsidian. Um, you know what? That would be faster. Digging through there would would be faster than uh, um, what's the phrase? Uh, getting blocks on my bar. Did that cow just commit suicide? No, but it wants to. Um, it's bungee jumping. There we go. Now I don't need to kill cows. Um, let's head over this way. Um, let's see. Uh, for the world generation, I'm not sure if you guys have noticed, but, um, I turned off, like, I'm talking about the Mark II. Um... Uh, Tcon has an option to turn off slime islands, which I, I don't like slime islands. I've never really liked slime islands, and so those are turned off. Um, they're not going to show up randomly in our worlds. Um, world border thousand, yeah, no, mm, limited bees. So I'm not going to be able to have a queen in a stack of uh, drones. I will have to uh, continuously after getting like a. Um, I might go and do like two stacks of drones just to make sure I have enough in case I need them. Um, and then I'll do... They change the they change how serums work as well. Um, or not serums, like all the genetic stuff all got drastically altered. Um, and it might also be really hard to power because of changes. Not entirely sure about that yet. But we'll see. That's a thing that I have to play around with. And really, all I've done... I haven't seen how hard the... Um, hard the mod pack is. Um, I know it's got a T-Con progression. I have Iguanas tweaks in there. Even though they're not Iguanas anymore, he's not the guy in charge of the project. Um, he has passed the project on to a new generation of mod jab people. Um, and so, you know, that's, that's cool. Uh, but yeah, his stuff is for 1.7. And so... It'd be a lot similar to the crash landing ones um, where at your tool level and you will get um, bonuses doesn't feel like quite the right word. But uh, like the more you use your sword, like when you use your sword and you level, you will get a random modifier in addition to having a new one open up possibly. Um, and so you can actually get like your super sharp, awesome swords uh, from killing mobs instead of, uh, from, you yeah, know, just going out and doing stuff. No, by placing stuff on the thing. Yeah.
Those are the words I want. Placing stuff on the thing. That's exactly the phrase. That's a Pamcraft bees. I never did anything with those. Pamcraft doesn't show up on any eye very well. Um, go. I'm kind of waiting, hoping I can uh, break my scoop before I need to craft a, ba a backpack. I don't know if I'll be so lucky. Should check to see where I are, where I am on the map. Mm -hmm. There we go. Um, let's drop a craft table. Yeah, nope, I was, you know, I want to do a little bit more bee breeding, but really, this is just a concept for an episode. That's all I really wanted, was a concept for an episode. Not too many episodes remaining, as it is. So, I'm excited by that. I'm gonna try and push them out today. You know, I just got off of work decently early. It's like uh, 2 o'clock where I am, and I'm done with work. Um, until Friday. And I am excited about the time off. Why do I only have one wool? I don't know why I only have one wool. Hold on. Something, somewhere, has gone dreadfully wrong. Oh, there it is. Just putting it up so I didn't have to deal with it. Got it. So, new scoop. Trying to fill my... I should probably... Hmm. If I see more cows, I'll probably kill them. Try and get another backpack. Fill it up with more treasures. Um. So, yeah. A lot of how I've done stuff will change. Ooh, Valiant. Which I have. I don't need that, actually. But it's kind of cool that I got one. R -X. One of the annoying things about getting like a new mod pack is having to... Uh, reset all my key bindings because I use a different you know I use a way different style than everyone else everyone is all accustomed to using like E for inventory and Q for throw but I put my throw key uh, my throw key is X which means when I'm trying to move I don't actually accidentally throw my sword and I find that to be highly valuable um, yeah I think it's one of the better things that I do. Um, I also, inventory is, no, inventory is R. Um, so yeah, it, it, it lets me, you know, when it's on the other side of the keyboard, I have to use like, go hunt and peck it or use two hands or whatever. It's just fairly simple for me. There we go. That'll be enough for now. No more cows need to be murdered at the moment. Um, anyway, it's way simple for me to just be able to do all of my controls with one hand as opposed to needing, uh, a second hand. This, ooh, what's this one? I don't know this hive. It's a Meadows hive? Weird. Had a odd lighting. Um, this is a hollow hill. Meh, 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 meh. Digging into it. Torches, 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 torches. Torches, the Christmas presents look really weird. Hollow Hills are kind of cool. Because they got a zombie spawner right there and a skelly spawner right there. You don't scare me, guy. I'm just not going to look at you. Tin, thomium, copper, emerald, food. Food does weird things. Cause sometimes it disappears. I don't care about those. Ooh, more silver, more tin. Thomium pick is pretty sweet. Mm. Uh, feather falling four. Interesting. Custom books. Another feather falling four. Nice. Printer manual. Greg Tech. Ooh, two oblivion frames. And a cow trophy. When did I get a cow trophy? Okay. Um, there's actually some pretty decent treasure in here. Um, let's get the books in here, and then I can just go and put. The medals that I had gotten before up. Good. I left my workbench at a place. Yeah. Open. <sighs> so I need to head for some trees. Hey, you know what? Let's let's 
Let's go get that thing while it's lit up. Cause it's convenient for things to be lit up at night. The beehives, that is. Anyway. Um, I will probably be... I will be the bee king of the new server. Again, you know, I've kind of... I'm the bee guy here, but uh, I will also be the bee guy there and uh, probably let people, um, you know, use my bees, I guess, would be the right way of doing it. Uh, provide access to them. We're going to be fairly close quarters. And any time that one person does a work, uh, everyone else shares in a little bit of the lag and a little bit of the AFKness and things like that. And so... Uh, which should be make us a little bit more tight-knit of a community. Hopefully. Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Um, gosh, I wish I had... That. I want that. Um, I do love the hang glider. Open blocks, totally in it, because hang gliders are, like, they need to be in vanilla. They are amazing. Does that finish off my scoop? Sure does. A lot of these guys I'm just going to pump into the, put into the gene wash and get them uh, um, all purified and stuff without having to do much. This one will take a little bit more. Well, maybe I can do stuff with it. Um, Hey, where's some wood at? Give me that. I'm excited by EnviroMind. Um, I still don't know how to... Get all the config away, so the little envir no, environment data warning, uh, that's still there. Don't know what to do about that, but um, I think we're going to get some really cool builds when you have to support it. And, you know, there's a use for building with endstone. It's to make buildings that stay up. And there's a use for, you know, it's, it's just, it's going to be cool, uh, I do believe. I'll throw some fish in there. I don't need that on me. Um. Oh, I need to make a new. Uh, I should have colored these. I might be able to color them afterwards, but oh well. Um. I'm excited by the new pack. Uh, I'm kind of sad. I didn't. I'm not including Greg Tech. Uh, I'm kind of like Greg Tech out right now. Um. You know, as much as I still. You know, there's still plenty of stuff for me to do with Greg Tech. Uh, a lot of, right, like, a lot of it is I wait and I wait and I wait and I'm slowly gathering up supplies until it's like, oh, I should go do that. And then I use up all of my steel and all of my advanced circuits and all of my rubber and everything and I get a project done. And it's like, well, that was cool. And then I'm, like, waiting for my supply to fill back up. So... Yeah, that's what Greg Tech has been like for me. Oh, wisps. Wisps aren't good. Uh-oh, that's also not good. Why am I doing... Oh, chest has been looted. Run away! Run away! Speaking of running away, um, you can also do this while you're hang gliding, which I think is pretty cool. Air trash delivery. Ooh, thing. Um... The, you know, some of the changes that, wasn't it like just, did I just sleep? No, I thought about it and then I made a thing. Oh, I thought I had slept. Turns out I haven't. You might have noticed. Um, uh, in addition to not having the nether, not sure about the end, might just leave the end. Uh, I don't know. I know it is a configurable thing to, uh, not have the nether. Um, do I have that? Domium pickaxe? Would that insta dig this? Might, I don't know. Grab all this. One of those weird ores that Greg Tech adds in. Um, I was saying a thing. In addition to not having the nether, I don't know. I know not uh you can turn off the nether in just the Minecraft server properties. Uh I don't know if that turns off the end or not. That'll be one of those things that we do, but we'll be in close quarters anyway, and so we're, you know, an end portal may not even be in our boundaries. I don't know. I'm not going to look and try and get one in, because then I'd know. I would rather, 
you know, like the end, as awesome as Ender Pearls are, um, I would prefer to spend a lot of effort. Ooh, ah, 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 ah. Good things, good things, good things. Spread. Yeah, that'll work. Wait, was there anything else good? I have to check. This isn't good. Departure! Departure! That's a scoop, not a hang glider. There we go. Why are you glowing? Why you glow? No reason. Okay, so, um... Roguelike Dungeons is another thing that's not in the pack. And I think one of the reasons why I was dissatisfied with it is that they were a little bit too common here in this pack. Um, and also, they, uh... They were easy. And I think part of that was probably something to do with the, uh... Um... The oh my gosh, what's it called? Keep inventory, the keep inventory uh, game rule. Keep inventory. Uh, not losing your stuff when you die has been cool with like the Greg Tech and stuff, but it feels too cheap to me now. Um, and I think I'm ready to lose my inventory for a while and have death matter again, as opposed to being a convenient way of uh, getting back up tall buildings and stuff. Um, where are we in relation to things? Oh, this is Michael's place up here. I wonder if he ever did anything. Um. So yeah, next server, um, the keep inventory will not be on. Uh, you will lose inventory when you die. And uh, yeah. You know, I don't know. I don't know if I would have done stuff differently this server had I done that. Um, I know. Okay. But, to counteract it, one of the reasons why death is okay is because we're adding in a teleportation mod uh, called Ender Books. And um, it's not, like, quite enough to uh, keep you from dying or whatever. Like, uh, I in one of my videos that I was trying to do the mod pack test in, I uh, ended up falling to my death and tried to teleport at the last second. And it did not save my life. But... Um, tool rods. I don't know what's going on here. Rock on. So, little carrot farm. Anyway, um, yeah. Uh, Ender books. Looks like it's going to be a fun addition to the pack. Uh, being able to teleport places to other people's bases, like, it takes, it takes an ender pearl to craft a page, and they will be rare to start with, and possibly to end with if we don't actually have a stronghold. Uh, I think, I think it'll be a fairly well-balanced mod. Um, you know, I think we should remember that people are people, and that there are some people who will probably abuse it, in which case you need to let me know. And then there'll be some people who don't want other people to warp to their base or whatever. And it would be polite to not do that. Or at least be fairly discreet about it. Or whatever. I don't know. But, um, yeah. Just remember that the other people on the thing are people too. Uh, yeah. All in all way excited for the new pack and if i wasn't walking back to the house i would end it there um we are not too far from the house actually as the um, savage matt flies with his hang glider no oh i can go use oblivion frames on that Ooh, I'm going to hop off camera, and I am going to get, you probably want a thing of stone, don't you? Stone? Is that better? 
I'm gonna get myself a rural beef because it's been too long that I've been trying to do this and now I have an oblivion frame that I just looted so what do you want I don't have my I wonder if you're part rural bee already what are you diligent meadows okay I'm gonna have to get my bealizer anyway uh, I got myself several inventories full of bees so I oh there's another one actually and you are a robust bee interesting what are we doing with you I don't remember we can redo that one see what happens um I'm gonna go do some bee stuff do some AFK while this is uploading um let me know what you guys are excited for in the new pack um, if you want to be in let me know and I'll make sure that you are uh, on my alert list once the server goes up will there be a goodbye server video for here um, I walked by two people's bases I got what three four more people who have bases on here five more people have bases that I could probably swing by and do just a quick oh look at the thing um I'm probably not gonna do anything big servitory but next server I don't think I'll do a startup video you know what if you want one let me know down in the comments below other than that this has been uh, Savage Matt uh, you know kind of a lazy walk video um that was very very beneficial to moi so if you guys stay online we will see you next time! Yeah. No, try not to hit my villager. There we go. Peace out, guys.